Hey folks, Slayers, welcome back. Today we're reacting to episode 12, the midpoint of Queer as Folk season 2. Last week was the wedding. Mel and Lindsay tied the knot. We have Brian off in Miami. I feel like it's going to pick up with him just like back, but it would be fun as fuck fun as folk if we had a Miami Brian moment, but I don't see that really happening. We got to get back to Pittsburgh and we also haven't, we haven't been exploring his work life at all. He still like has that job, right? Like, did he quit? No, he can't. He couldn't have. George and Emmett continue to go strong. I'm loving them so much. We had a lot of Deb bumping heads with Vic. It ended all swell. The show loves to wrap up a storyline in one episode, which I actually do like a lot because like it's just good every time like they, it's it doesn't fail so so if you'd like to watch the uncut reaction check out my patreon but i also launched a youtube membership so if patreon isn't your thing and you don't like want to switch apps and such it's super easy to join the link is below it will always be there it won't have the uncut reactions but just the reactions early and there's also other perks i would love to do like a monthly private live stream and like talk about the show i might do public ones too eventually like i kind of want to i love live streaming but people need to be in the live and i just would love that would be so fun but anyways check out the perks there check the patreon whatever but if you prefer the youtube edit thank you so much i wouldn't be doing any of this without you guys but yeah i'm just a struggling artist on here and your support with the patreon and membership would be greatly appreciated but yeah thank you so much for my patrons love y'all so much it's the reason why i'm able to continue doing this honestly because i make three dollars a video on youtube okay but let's get into it five six shake it dude oh my god we're in miami still thank god miami is 50 minutes away from me he's so close to me are we really here still i hope this is a babylon's wet night where are we no familiar faces. This has to be me and me. Oh, Slay. Where's Brian? There's the white tea, Brian. Oh, wait. Michael. All right. We're you know not in Miami. Happen. First, we're going to go back to your place. Yeah. Then I'm going to rip off your clothes or your head and work my tongue down between. Work my tongue down between your. Why? <laughs> this far now it's your turn okay okay uh my turn i'm dead so cute though i say let's get out of here well you can finish my fantasy anytime brian <sighs> brian's back that was miami uh, just the other day i was out in miami day. i never left the hotel ah. lol not as good as that one a couple years ago yeah why were you thinking of justin are we gonna get a real talk about miami or no what you him, didn't you? Who? Who? Ben. What? Where'd you get that idea? How many times did you fuck him? Stop. Once. Twice. I'm getting hard just thinking about it. How come you haven't told Michael? First rule of gay etiquette, never talk about your past. I hate this. And it's great storyline. Oh my god. I hate town, it. Oh, doctor. that would destroy me if I was Michael. Hey, businessman, so I'm so weak. I'm such a stupid See weak him? bitch. Co-sponsors the AIDS ride oh, every year. Fuck you. Stop. How do you know all these people? I don't, but I want to. The creme de la creme of gay Pittsburgh society. I'm... I can't believe it. it that's, like, so real, I feel like. What's wrong with wanting to associate with oh, a higher Like, price? I hate that. Like, I'm in someone's roster and everyone else is in that person's roster, too. Stop. But it'd be a whole step up to be accepted by them. A chance to make significant contacts. You're nothing until you've been invited to one of his soirees. All right, who? I always wanted to meet him. So go introduce yourself. It's the sort of thing you have to work up to. What? Ooh, are we getting a little lovey with you? Now go. Go on. Oh no, it's not giving love interest. I don't think. Uh, card. Here's my card. Uh, <sighs> I'm so shook. This new doctor friend. The doctor? 
What's his name? That oh. homophobic I love graveyards. He just gave me a as morbid as that sounds. Bury some poor kid without even knowing who he is. Oh man. Something with the body. They just can't keep it laying around. Lying around. Here it is. But <laughs> what? Just so this is what it comes to. Doesn't seem right. It's not. Right. It's terrible. It's terrible. If nobody knows who you are, how are they supposed to remember you? Oh my god. That's dark. That's so sad. Sorry, I'm sorry too. It's the kinkiest thing you've ever done with a guy. Come on. Dish. One night I went to this guy's house and uh, I stayed over. Very funny. Man and I did some pretty kinky stuff last night. <laughs> like what? Flavored condoms? Guess. <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. He tied me up. Totally surrendered to him. It was so amazing. It's all about trust, you know? Yeah, it's pretty good when you're the one doing the tying, too. The way he held me afterwards, I've never felt so close. <laughs> mm, so happy to see them. Oh, look, Teddy. That doctor who runs that big medical group. So? There's the guy who sponsors the AIDS ride every year. That's an equal. Someone's changed her tune. You were gaga over these people the other night. Yeah, well, I'm not gaga now. So Before why did you Lady Gaga, wow. If not to rub elbows with all the A-gays. I'm allowed. I want to be an A-gay. B-gay. He stands for the best, and I agree. Billy. Are there any A-dykes? Oh, honey, you're looking at him. <laughs> Period. The guards. This is my favorite. Racine? Oh, no. I must said this is my favorite lesbian couple on TV of all times, but then I just remembered Willow and Tara. They're my second, though. Dead. How are you? Goth were seen. We met the other night. You remember? Uh, uh, sure, of course. You know, let me introduce my friends. It's uh, uh, Teddy Molly looks so and, cute. Uh, Lindsay and I mean, uh, I always think he's cute, but nice to meet you. Look, I'll only take a moment of your time. I'm having a little uh, get together at my place. I'd love it if you could drop by. Hey, gay. Uh, I'd love to. Fabulous. Round three. Well he's behaved women rarely. Her shirt, I love it. Well-behaved women rarely make history. Wow, that's really cool. Can't help feeling somehow responsible lying out there in an unmarked grave. That's so crazy. And what can you do? Is that really what would happen? I don't know. Find out who he was. Police are for those fat fucks. <laughs> they made it very clear they don't give a sh. Nobody does. Then do it. Storyline. If this becomes like thriller mystery, I mean right now. that'd be so cool. Who haven't you f hasn't f me or anybody I've been with? <laughs> what? Cut to Ben. There's me. We go right into it with the show. Nice going, Luke. I'm scared. I don't believe it. It is self hilarious. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why'd you think so? <laughs> well, why shouldn't I? You know, it's Pittsburgh. Oh. No degrees of separation. Okay. Justin, I can't believe you. I mean, realistically, if this was me, why would I? Should I care? Past is past, but it's just, I just want something of my own. Do you know what I mean? Especially if I crushed on Brian and he had Can sex with my you? man already. It's like, come on, bro. Yeah, I need to talk to Do you to know somebody, what I mean? But I gotta say, I was hoping it wouldn't be you. Come in, kick back, relax. I don't have time to relax. So glad you do. Oh. Why is there no name? Is this gonna be a love interest? You're not even trying. Enemies to lovers? Yes. I hope it's not lady. the guy and who said Jane Doe. <laughs> don't take this the wrong way. But it's none of your business. This kid has got a name, and I'm gonna find it. I mean, how none of the gays in Babylon... Oh my god, I would love to see her in Babylon asking everyone. I'd love to see her in Babylon. Ooh. I can't remember if that's the guy from the crime scene. Horned out, raging hard on home. Mm. I was oh, that's so weirdly relatable. I feel like... I told you, it's no biggie. That's this very is interesting. For me. Mm. I don't understand the nature. Mm -hmm. I mean... But it was still a shitty way to find out. You should have, have told him. Absolutely, he should have told him. It's a given. It was a casual thing. I told you. You don't have to explain. He's... Uh, Everybody we slept with before we met. Leave your underwear on. I'm gonna chew through him. <laughs> mm. 
Nah. What's up? I'm done. That's so funny. You are. Nice form, guy. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> And when I eat the cookie, he got good form. Definitely squat on that. It's Rainer, my new trainer. See, he's already taught you how to sit up and beg. Oh my god, so uh, funny. Garth recommended him. He only trains with the best. Emmett's giving sporty spice. Babylon tonight? Yep. Did you and Ben have a fight? Why? Because he and Brian had sex? If it was my boyfriend and I found out that Brian had done the dirty with him, it'd be game over. <laughs> uh, how can I measure anyway, up? Not game over. Good. Uh, uh, Brian's sex is like a handshake. They know each other intimately. Feel how they smell, the sounds they make when they're coming. Would you two shut the fuck up already? <sighs> Don't forget the dimple on his chin. Give me a chance. Hmm, we haven't. I don't know like, what you guys live on. How update. do you survive? <gasps> Jennifer. That's it. What do you say, Jen? Are you in? No. I think you should leave that to the pros. Who knows Liberty Avenue better than we do? Jen's oh, not. Speak for yourself, in. Debbie. But you're a mother. What if it was your son? Come on, Jennifer, what the f Almost was. True. Oh, okay, she's... I get the trigger effect, but that would be great for them to team up and do it together. Teddy, you have arrived. This is such a good episode. Dad's an entrepreneur. He has his own website. Really? Whew. If you don't behave, I'm gonna have to tie you up again. Promises, promises. Did uh, Brian ever do that? Let's have... Do what? Tie you up. You expect me to remember? It wasn't that long ago. Maybe. Now come here. Maybe. They say his f**ks are legendary. Mm. Okay. What's so great about it? <laughs> I'm just curious. It's weird. I, it's I'm cool very it, really. weird, but it's not weird, but it's a weird timing. He was f**king me. And he came right, but I hadn't. So he just kept going. No shit. Mm -hmm. Then he came a second time. Right when I did. Never lost his heart. You had to ask. So uh, how do I compare yeah. it? Michael, tell me. It's like comparing apples and cantaloupes. So who has the cantaloupes? <laughs> fine. Fine. Oh my god. Listen up You're here. Terrific. You're great. Stop talking about him. Oh god. I am I just remembered I have a shipment coming in at the store. Oh no. <laughs> No. Oh. You know, I went to your website the other day. I was rather impressed. You were. Thank you, Garth. Especially with one of your young men, uh, Rex. Wouldn't mind getting to know him. <laughs> Think you could possibly set something up? Sorry, Deb. Yeah, we'll keep it. Thanks. Honey. I don't get how. Good afternoon. Can I this... trouble you for a minute? Yay, she's helping. Uh -huh. Great Thanks, leather honey. jacket. Hey, kiddo, how's Bill? On show to your friends? Thanks, baby. Good afternoon. Would you mind just taking a look? Why does no one respond to her? How you doing? I feel like the invisible woman. <laughs> yeah, well. Fantastic, too. Do you know him? Yeah, I think This so. is such a powerful, is sweet storyline in such a dark, morbid way. I used to see him hanging out at the Liberty Spa. Hmm. Okay, we got a lead. Uh, sorry for interrupting, fellas, but did you, either of you recognize him? Uh, no, no. Okay, thanks. I'm actually responding. Play safe. Hey, no broads in the bathhouse. We're looking for someone. This is a private men's club. Excuse <laughs> me. I I knew him. <gasps> What's his name? He didn't say. Oh, come on. Why? Doesn't anybody even introduce themselves before they f <laughs> Me. We were doing it when he starts gasping. I'm thinking, hey, I'm pretty good. Turns out he was having an asthma attack. Oh, he sucked no. on his inhaler and was fine. So... But by then, the magic had kind of worn off. You know. Was it a prescription thing? I was gonna say, could we go to a doctor? That's all I know. Thanks for your help. Yeah, that's kind of good. Well, if you don't mind. Oh, shut up. I missed the bookstore. Is this it? It has to be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Brian, let's f***ing talk. Do you have the new butt, man? It's sold out. <laughs> oh. I thought you wanted to go to Babylon. Change Busy. their mind. Neutron Man has broken into a nuclear oh, power plant. Stop. Or he's Wait, is he writing his the world own? And die. <gasps> Guys, I'm writing a book. Take the power. You would. Take what you want and hell with everyone else. So you were never going to tell me. Tell you what? You know goddamn well. It was two years ago. Who gives a I don't. He doesn't. Why do you? Because he's my boyfriend. That's a really long time ago. That's good. And you're my friend. 
Period. Somebody's jealous. It's not that. It's just but like. Are you jealous because I did it with him? Or he did it with me? That is such an interesting because question. Because he did it with me. Arrogant prick. Which is it? I would say that he Why did it with him. Why should I give a shit him. if he slept with you? Who hasn't? You. What? You want to know what it's like? You know you want it? You're breaking the Justin rule. So you're cheating on Ben and Justin. They better stop. I know your secret identity. He wants me to pimp for him. That's why I was invited into the inner circle. Are you sure you want to return the pasta machine? That's why I'm suddenly his new best friend. Come on, I am brain fucked right now. Being used. Well, that's the way it is. Now you know. Brian is the hottest guy in the planet <laughs> that is crazy bruh you know i can't give out that kind of information oh who this poor kid is yeah he's fucking dead so like stop i must have a hundred names here just for albuterol sis this is hopeless hey i never said that about you so you don't say that about him that dimple on his chin looks familiar when was he killed a couple weeks ago if this is him he never picked up his prescription <sighs> it's totally him. Keep your pants on. That guy was kind of cute. Right. Come on in. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I love the. They're gonna have a little talk. You look a little stressed out. The best thing for stress, isn't it, Teddy? The best. Ugh, Teddy doesn't need to be here for this. So I thought Michael might be at the store, but it was closed. He's not here. I haven't seen him. There's something wrong with the beaver. Well, I'm not sure. I should. You can tell us. He's been acting really weird ever since he found out. You and Brian. Yeah. Precisely. Yep, so did I. Me too. You knew what? That this was going to happen. No. Come on, you guys, tell me. Were they lovers? Oh, he doesn't know that side of it either. Which is kind what? of maybe emotionally worse. Would have been better if they had been. To get it over with. And Brian could have broken his heart and Michael could have gotten over him. Mm -hmm. Instead of always wondering what it was. I'm going to talk about this at the end, obviously. Oh man, I wanted more. Jason Kemp. How'd you get that? It's called Perseverance. You should try it sometime. I even found out where he lived, Vaseline Tower. What the hell is that? That's where every young gay boy goes when he first moves to town. Oh, thanks for the lead. You could be a detective. She really could. It's supposed to be your job. Okay, that is the guy from the episode before that was an ass. And afterwards, we're having a Guys, this is like the best episode ever. Teddy, I, want to thank I just got chills saying that. I hate when I show my chills, I don't think it picks up, and then so like I'm saying it, but I'm getting a one fan. chill right now. That boy has the hottest ass. So happy together. Come join us. Knock, knock, knock. Or we just walk in, probably, yeah. Hey. I don't know anybody wrote longhand anymore. Wow, they said that then. I just tried journaling That's in my so beautiful. last vlog. My hand hurt after two seconds. I wish I could do this. I wish I could be that eloquent. Same. I really want to say I'm sorry. Um. What for? Yeah. For taking off. Mm hmm. Do whatever you want. Don't say sorry. I could get a drink. Oh, yeah. Help he yourself. should say sorry for not telling you because that's your fucking boyfriend. It's fine if it was like someone random, but his number one best friend. No. Look, I know you don't like to dwell on the past, you know, it's, but sometimes it won't let you go. Like with Brian. Well, I wasn't completely honest when I said it didn't matter to me that had sex with him. It, it does matter. And why is that? Because. What's he going to say? Because I. I've always had certain 
feelings for him. What kind of feelings? Friendship feelings. Love and romantic. Feelings. Sexual feelings? Of course, it's Brian Kenny, babe. Stop. Not that anything ever happened or ever will. I but mean, I found out that you and he, like, he had sexual something. feelings too, Mr. Ben. That I knew him in a way you don't. And he knows you in a way that I do. Thank you for telling me. I had to. I love you. What are you going to say? And it's okay that you love him. It is? Uh, Michael, we've known each other for how long? A few months? You had a life before I came along. So did I. So did he. Including people we've loved that we're still in love with. It doesn't mean we can't love each other. Mm. Oh, God. Brian. What? Oh, that's kind of cool. Like, the symbolism. Okay. Him leaving. So I think we're going to table that, which is good. But I sure have something to say at the end. So you bitches better stay tuned. I can't oh, believe no gay people so haven't watched this show. You got what you wanted. Found out his name. I'm one of them. What am I talking about? Who his family is or who did it? I thought you'd want to know. I went to his apartment. Well, you didn't waste any time for once. Landlord thought the kid skipped out without paying his rent. The kid's name is Jason. He's only been here a couple of months. Uh, you should see his place. Here. No furniture, nothing, just a mattress. Did you find his mother? She OD'd in Tampa when he was four. He was sent to foster homes. Mm. He landed on the streets when he was 18. This is so Some good. Life. Not that, like but like the storyline. Like, My this sister is... makes incredible big I have chills time. everywhere. Thanks. I, I have to get back to work. I have so much to say. Well, it was very kind of you to come by. Thought you'd like to know. Chills everywhere. You sure you wouldn't like to? Oh my God, guys! I know I'll what's happening. If I find out anything else. Do that. I'm annoyed at you, Ben. Michael might have moved on, but not this bitch. Hey, uh, do you want to cut in? No, I'm just cutting through. Uh, go on, go on. I need a drink. You're so good, Ben. What do you think of him? I already did him. Did not. Did two. When? Ages ago. How was he? I'm not telling. Haven't you ever heard of gay etiquette? What an interesting show this is. Holy sh... My sister needs to watch this. I have chills everywhere. That was probably the best episode of the entire series thus far. The writing, the details, the characters. I have chills everywhere. The relatability, the acting, the pace, the tone. This show is so good i i feel like the first season was so i loved it but like i could see a lot of people not being able to get past the first season which is such a damn shame the season one finale really there's when the game changed there's so many great moments in season one and stuff and story building and getting to know these characters but it is very typical gay slutty what you would kind of expect so it's it makes me mad that for example like i would love my sister to watch the show but I kind of don't feel like she'd be fully into it until season one finale. And it's like, I, I feel like that would be true for a lot of people. Again, I really like season one. Even my mom, it would be so hard to get past the sex scenes or over explicitiveness, which I love. But like, I know my mom would even love this show too. I just want everyone to watch this show. It is so much more than meets the eye. In this episode, the start of it, I was like, I relate to Michael the most out of everyone, and I hate that because, like, he's probably my least fave. I think it's because I see the annoying parts of myself in him, maybe. That being said, I do feel like Michael is written to be the relatable one for the viewers watching. And, like, I've already noticed that, and I did feel this way, but, like, I just 
truly relate to Michael so much in this episode. Like, I just get it. Get it all. I get it. Like, it's just such a freaking bummer that you would meet this fantastic guy and, like, that would happen. That being said, you would think I would probably not be saying what I'm about to say right now. I've never been into... The idea of Michael and Brian being an item, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but the chemistry was almost unreal, and they will absolutely have sex at some point. Whether it'll be in a cheating way, which would be crazy, or I would love for it to not be, but the tea would be piping if it was. Because this is a show, not because if in real life, fuck you. Oh, that would be disgusting. Stop. <laughs> that being said, not for a second do I think that they're endgame. I think they'd have sex. I think it'd be great. They'd be infatuated with each other. And then I think it would leave maybe even Michael's system faster than Brian's. And it would just kind of fizzle out to them realizing that they're just truly made to just be best friends and I love them as best friends. They will be end game as best friends and I could see their falling out for Brian to realize that his OTP, one true pair, is that the saying? Is Justin and and for Michael it would be Ben. I am worried about Ben's life. As I've said in a past episode, do not spoil me, guys. I will be livid. This is all me speaking out loud. This is fun for us. Do not ruin this. In any type of way, think before you type. Mel and Lindsay love them so much. They took the back burner in this episode for sure, which made sense over it because like they were pretty focused in the past few, of course, it being their wedding. I don't have any predictions for them other than... Lita potentially messing things up, but like, I feel like that would be tired. I feel like it's almost too obvious and just there's no connection. We're already doing that with Michael and Brian exploring the past things that never were, but I think Lita and Mel have had a past together. I can't remember exactly. As a TV show, what are we going to do with the drama for them? I really didn't expect them to get married this early because now it could only go downhill, I feel. And it's only season two. I would love for them to be just together for the rest of the series, but somehow be able to keep it interesting at the same time. I have no idea. Galita, I really like her as a character. I don't want to have to hate her. I'd love to see her have a storyline and her fall in love, but I just don't see how there's time for that. Shout out to, what's her name? Shout out to Tracy. <laughs> Poor girl. Can't get a moment. Oh my god, fucking Daphne. You know she's just off living her life the way Justin is. She's giving me icky vibes, kind of. I didn't love her at the house party. She, but like, it's also so realistic. She's all about boy crazy and so is Justin. It's just like we're in Justin's head and not Daphne. It makes so much sense that Ben and Brian would have fucked. Never thought that for a second. Just looking at my past notes, Chris Hobbs, we saw him in that hallway in that random episode for a minute. <gasps> if he has anything to do with the murder of Jason, that would be bonkers. I just feel like, don't tell me, but I just feel that was so weird to just drop the Chris Hobbs storyline, which I mean, I don't care about him, but oh my god, I really... okay. Okay, and then enemies to lovers, Debbie and the detective, that would be dope as hell. They really made you hate him, but I kind of love that. That just makes it, ugh, oh, she's gonna change him, I could see it. He's an asshole, but like, fuck you. Yeah, that relationship, enemies to lovers, would be perfection. I guess that is it for this episode. This has been quite a ride. Guys, I'm having so much fun making these videos and having you guys watch along and live it through my eyes. Like, I hope I'm doing this show justice. I'm obsessed with you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the comments. They make my freaking day, my life, my world. I guess that's it for this 
reaction. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. It really helps my channel more than you know. And I will see you babies on the next one. It's Billy, bitch.